It's time for Veterans Issues, the show that brings you information about veterans, military, and their families. Now here's your host, Ken Rock. Welcome to Veterans Issues. We are brought to you by the Red, White, and Blue. I appreciate you tuning in this week. Got a couple of good guests on here today that have been here before. We're going to talk about two different and uh, two different segments. We're going to talk about two different things. So, and the first one is Mike Abrams, who's no stranger to himself or me or <laughs> or anyone. But but Mike is with the uh, uh, committee for the Calhoun County Veterans Day Parade that happens on uh, Veterans Day on the 11th. Welcome to the show again. Thank you very much, Ken. I appreciate the opportunity Where to talk about now? that. Where have I been hiding? I spent a little time out of state, but uh, you know, life is good, and I'm yeah. enjoying being in Alabama. Are you retired? Is this what you was going to say? Well, I did retire from uh, my job out of the depot, and uh, it's it's a good feeling to be uh, finished with that part of my career. Well, for those of you who don't know, I don't know who you might be, but uh, Mike was the public affairs officer for uh, the incinerator out there, for lack of a better term. He was uh, there from the get-go to the finish of it to the last drop and and they all got to uh, say what is your legacy on this earth and uh, they did this community a great favor and uh, for that I appreciate them. But you've been on you many times to talk about that today. We're going to talk about the uh, Veterans Day Parade. Been a lot of stuff in the paper about it. Um, I'm sad to say the one in Etowah County Gadsden was canceled and it's like uh, we're not going to work tomorrow on Tuesday because there's a lack of interest you know but the Veterans Day parades uh, across the, the state of Alabama have always been uh, a great attendance, and I can't believe that, that somebody would have to cancel one. And it's, it has come close to it here in uh, Calhoun County, am I correct? Not uh, close to canceling, but close to putting pressure on you, trying to figure out how you're going to do this. Well, in some ways, uh, we do feel the pressure. Uh, we want uh, the objective that uh, we have at the Calhoun County Veterans Organization is to make sure that every year we have a bigger and better Veterans Day Parade on Veterans Day. Not the Sunday before, not the Saturday after, but on Veterans Day we want to make sure that the people in Northeast Alabama, the people in Calhoun County know that there will be a good Veterans Day Parade on Veterans Day, November 11th, on Noble Street in Anniston. We've always enjoyed a great deal of support from uh, people in the city administration, and we don't want to abuse that support. We want to make sure that they feel it is well worth their extra effort to support the parade in honor of and in appreciation of all of the men and women who have served in the armed forces of the United States. Coast Guard, Air Force, Marines, Navy, Army, we want to make sure that everyone who has worn a uniform of the United States military, they know that they are appreciated, that they, their service is recognized, uh, that uh, there are people who love that service, and we it's give kind of, people that opportunity on November 11th. Kind of like we see this, this, the ribbons on the backs of cars, on the magnetic things, and it says, we support our troops, we support our troops. Well, how do you support your troops? And uh, these are troops, they may be from Korea War, they may be from Vietnam, they may be from Iraq or Afghanistan War. How, what better way to support them than to come out and do that? But now, when, back when General Orton, your, I guess he was your boss, General Orton at Fort McClellan? I, I have worked for General Orton in a couple of different capacities. And I put together a parade and I said, I tried a committee thing and I find it just, I'll go it my, myself. And we put together a pretty good parade. One of the things that People are not aware when you start putting together a parade, you talk about bands, you said the high school bands. Most of the times you have a parade that's either on a weekend or a holiday. And the bands are not in school, band members not in school, the bus drivers are off, and there's nobody to drive the band to the place of the, of the thing. And I, I ran into that, and they said, well, if you want to pay the bus drivers or that kind of thing, you know, it, it was, did y'all run into that where you find a hard time getting, getting the high school bands? There has been a vo uh, voice to us, uh, mentioned to us, that uh, there are some administrative, some logistical issues to, uh, that people have to work through. But I'm proud to report that the Anniston High School Band and the Anniston Junior ROTC unit, they both plan to be in the parade on November 11th. And we're going to marshal the parade in front of the Anniston City Meeting Center on Noble Street 
and then at two o'clock, fourteen hundred hours, at uh, two o'clock. What's the that parade, for the Marine Corps? Little hand the on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we will start the parade at two p.m. on Noble Street, uh, close to the Aniston Meeting Center, and uh, we have been in contact with local fire departments, with the other schools. And uh, we expect other schools to be sending in their entry forms, but I don't want to potentially embarrass anyone. I just want to make sure that people know that we expect a good turnout this year. And after the parade, we will meet with the administration, with the folks who work for the city of Anniston, and figure out if we need to do something a little bit different to make the effort that the city employees put out, that the city policemen, that the city firemen uh, do to support this parade is all recognized for its own value as we recognize and honor veterans, the men and women who have worn the uniform. Every week I tell you about this pen. This is where I want you to get this. 256-453-3840. 256 now. Oh, wait a minute. It, it just buzzed. Somebody yeah. called. <laughs> this is not live. We got, uh, anyhow, we were, you threw me the curve. I owe you one. But, but anyhow, this is, this is a, not a Anniston parade. This is a county parade. I'm going to see Anniston, Oxford, Hobson City, Welburn School, Weaver School, um, all of these in it, Alexandria, all of those bands, if you can, if the people are watching, Try to put, this is what uh, is a great teaching tool for the children, to be able to say, I participate in the Veterans Day Parade. They see the flags, they keep going, keep reminding them of what the, the freedom they have to go to the school with that. It's, a, it's something we need all of the area. I wanna make sure it's, it's not Aniston Parade. And we shouldn't leave out uh, a great school in this community, Donahoe. The Donahoe Absolutely. Choir will be at the reviewing stand to sing the national anthem as the parade starts. I thought I was doing it. Well, we found a good singer. Okay. <laughs> Where does it begin? Um, the parade will begin uh, by McCord Communication down at 15th and uh, Noble. It'll uh, stage right in front of the Aniston Meeting Center. The first element, uh, the Honor Guard, will be at McCord at 15th and Noble, and it'll process south on Noble to 9th Street. Okay, from basically from 16th to 9th Street. That is correct. And people that want to park, there's plenty of parking in the city meeting center parking lot at the county admin parking lot, and then other places along the, there's another place down around 12 or 13th that people like to gather, but there is no bad place to watch parade because if you stand anywhere, you're gonna see all of it as it goes by. There's a big parking area right across the street from the federal building on Noble Street. Absolutely. And then of course, other places uh, behind the buildings that front Noble Street, there are, there is plenty got of parking. Got horses in it? Um, not in the front, I hope. Uh, not in the front. One no. year, one year they had them in the front, and I had my bagpipe man uh, doing a tiptoe through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's. Uh, are y'all going to have the little flags available? Has anybody stepped up on it? As a matter of fact, uh, we do have a small budget. But uh, one of the top items in that budget is to make sure that we have enough flags so that uh, virtually every child uh, from the beginning of the parade to the end will have an opportunity to get their own personal flag for the United States of America. Thank you, Mike. I, I remember that phone number, 453-3840, or call me. Uh, and some people have gotten in touch with me and want to know how they can help. That's one way to do it, to help out financially. We've got to go to a break. Come back. i got another guest for you. Stay where you are. Step in. Welcome back to Veterans Issues. We're back with our second guest today, and that is an old friend of mine. He's, I've been knowing him about 60, 70, 80, maybe 90 years, something like that. His name is David Ford, and they've been around the Calhoun County area for any time. You know who David is. And David is here to talk about the Kyle Comfort uh, annual run that they have out at Port McClellan every year, and it's uh, to help money for the wounded warrior and all that. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you for... Uh having me on to talk about this. Yeah, it's great to, this last year you was here, we talked about a lot of, a lot of things to do and, and God knows uh, Brooke Comfort, the uh, widow mm -hmm. of uh, Kyle, that works year round to uh, publicize mm -hmm. this, this event. It's a big day for her and Kenley and, uh, and uh, the family, but uh, it's a big day for the community because we feel like we kind of own Kyle yes. Comfort. He's one of ours. 
Absolutely, and this uh, this race it's uh, on the Saturday before Veterans Day. Uh, the proceeds of, of the race go to support the foundation, which in turn support well, wounded uh, warriors. Um, it's a great cause, and it is a great way to, I think, honor all veterans. Um, and as one of the participants in the race, it's always an honor for me to uh, be a part of it. Yeah. I can imagine, you know, Joel, Joel Denny, I think, is the chairman of it. Colonel Denny used he, to be the deputy. He is. Command. He's the race director. And uh, we want to make sure you got this number, too. It's 256-452-8699. Uh, That's uh, Joel Denny. And uh, if you want to get in what the stuff we're going to talk about, first of all, I, I want to go back when I, when I said that. You wrote this <laughs> up. I got a question there. When is it you done got that? Uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> November the 8th, 8 o'clock in the morning November at the, the November the 8th, Saturday, November the 8th at 8 okay. o'clock in the morning at the Medical Mall at uh, Fort McClellan. Okay, that's what I want, the Medical Mall. Folks yes. that don't know where they are, you're going to have signs out there. Oh, yes. That point yes. you to it. Go out to Fort McClellan and uh, you'll see that. Now, this is not the Fort McClellan, the base. It's a, it's a secure base right, that you have to have right. ID. This is the old fort. It, it is. It's McClellan. It's McClellan. Okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, and we say it's a 5K run, but it's really a, a, a walk as well. A lot of people come out just to walk the course, just to be a part of the event. Uh, it's uh, probably the second largest race in this community now. And, and we're, again, we're hoping right about 700 people will take part this year. There we go again. I, I, <laughs> I made myself a point. Last year you had a walk. You still got it this year? We've still <laughs> got it. We've still got it. I wish Mike Braveman was still in the studio <laughs> seeing me suffer here because you're taking them off. You're knocking them off before I can get <laughs> But that's what you're the idiot. I'm just messing with you. But, uh, the one thing you have that really caught the attention of people is the Blue Star. Absolutely. Tell me about that, how that works. Well, each participant, we have a race bib, and on that bib is the name of an Alabamian uh, who has been killed mm -hmm. in war. And uh, that's, a, as a runner, that is a very powerful thing. Mm -hmm. The whole time uh, that I'm running, uh, you know, I'm thinking about that person, and usually I'll I will touch that, that bill as I cross the finish line because I'm crossing with that person. And then the Blue Star organization has the, uh, the picture board there so we can all go over and see the picture of the person that we were running with. And it is just a, a very powerful experience. I like that when you say you're not running for, but you're running with that with person. Absolutely. That is, the Blue Star is uh, symbolic of when someone is off to war, they. Mm -hmm. The family would put the blue star in the window. Now, you knew that there's somebody living in a house that had someone away. And then the blue star foundation is for the casualties of war. And it's such a, I've heard so much about this one that, uh, out there. It's worth it just to see at the, they talk about at the end of the race, like you said, yes. all of y'all. And you run too? Oh, yes. I'll be in it. Uh, my father will be in it walking. He's 87. Uh, he will walk uh, the 5K course uh, mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but yeah, having had a son in combat, you know, that it, I think heightens it for me yeah. a little bit uh, as, in terms of the, the power that that, uh, that has. John David, is he going to be out there? I don't know if he will make it in or not. You no, know, going to be no. in an ugly Marine uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I, give, I give people on your hard time at Marines, but they know I love them. But uh, they're easy fodder to, to pick at. And um, this, um, the foundation, the Kyle Comfort Foundation, I know it helps like wounded warriors. I know Brooke has stepped up. I, if I'm not mistaken, when Ben Tomlinson was uh, getting his house built with mm -hmm. the Tunnel to Tower right. Foundation, the Gary Sinise and all of them, that uh, Brooke had given some money from the foundation. Is that correct? That's, uh, that's my understanding. Uh, we've helped, or the foundation has helped, not we. The foundation has helped, uh, I think, about five local wounded warriors, but helps uh, wounded warriors and their families. Because right. a lot of times, uh, you know, the families have to go where, where their, their loved one is, and it's a financial hardship. The yeah. foundation helps with those expenses. And another thing, uh, when you give to this foundation through a donation or through a race entry, 
almost every penny of that goes to the cause. There's yeah, I, uh, I, there's I, practically no administrative cost. And I know some of those people on there. The uh, the the way to get in touch with them is the uh, KyleComfortFoundation.org. That's Kyle Comfort, K-Y-L-E ComfortFoundation.org, and you'll see it on your screen up here. And that's where you uh, get it. Now, how much is, uh, let's see, it's $25 the $25 for, an adult. for adults, $20 for children. Now, if you want to get a team up, mm -hmm. uh, 10 or more, it's $15 a person. So, wow. you know, your office, uh, your Sunday school class, uh, your neighborhood, if you just want to get a group of 10 or more, uh, it's a great way to uh, support a, a worthy cause and come out and really honor veterans. But I can't say, I was, I was going to see if I could get uh, Mike Abrams to let me ride on his back. Y'all don't have a piggyback run or nothing like that, do you? I'm afraid we don't have that. Yeah, I'm sure he could carry <laughs> my 112 pounds. I just <laughs> check him. I'm going to check him out and see if he's still available to. But I don't, I, the, the, uh, I know I'm leaving something out out there. It says, oh yeah, where, you said at the McClellan Mall on the fort. Uh, how far does it, I mean, I know it's five miles. That's like That's how long is it? 5K, 3.1 yeah. miles. Where does it go? Does it just stay on the fort? It, it just stays on the fort, yes. Okay, you don't go out on Highway 21. As, as a matter of, no. As a matter of fact, you can uh, go to the, uh, the website, uh, KyleComfortFoundation.org, and you can click on the uh, race, uh, the annual 5K uh, walk run, and you can find out all of the information. You can pull up where the course, you can pull up, uh, you can register online for the race, or you can get a, a paper registration for the race. Yeah. So it's a good way to uh, register for it. You can even register the day of. Of course, we like to have people register ahead of time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good because it's, the people that, that put this together are all volunteers, right? They, Absolutely they all volunteers. And, yeah. And they didn't know who's, mm -hmm. how many people, how many bills they got to have, and that kind of thing. And I, I just, I'm just in awe of the uh, Blue Star thing. It's just, uh, I got to come out there and see. To, it to me, year. that that adds an element that uh, you don't find in any of the other races uh, around. I mean, that's that's just a very special thing to be running that race with someone else. Yeah, well, we got less than a minute. What have I left out? I don't think you've left anything out, but it, again, I would just say that if you want to honor veterans, all veterans, this is a great way to do it. Uh, usually the weather cooperates with us. We never have any guarantees right. on the weather, but uh, it's a good time of the year to have a race. Uh, 3.1 miles. Uh, a lot of people, even if they're not if they're not runners, if they don't run, they can certainly walk that course. And there are water stations along the way, and there are people to uh, help you out along the way. Thanks again for having me on. It's Thank a you, great Dave. privilege. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, and uh, you said something about the weather. I one time somebody asked me about a Memorial Day thing. He said, "What are we going to do about the rain?" I said, <laughs> "Look at this program. You don't see rain on here." Guess what? God showed me rain the next time. <laughs> I know it's in charge. We got to go to a pause for a break here, and then we'll come back. We got news that you can use. Stay where you're at. Welcome back to Veterans Issue. I appreciate uh, Mike Abram, David Ford coming in and doing the show today. Uh, one thing we didn't get to talk about is wreaths across America. Uh, the ceremony out at Fort McClellan on December the 13th at 11 a.m. These are the wreaths that uh, this is a nationwide program. And uh, like wreaths across America, this is wreaths across the McClellan. It's a great ceremony, 11 o'clock on December the 14th out there. And uh, that is that's something to try to make now. Um, remember that my new contact number, the 239-9234 number, and my email address and all that stuff is on the screen here. Uh, the ways you can text me and, and Facebook is another way uh, you can get in touch with me. And uh, our ceremony, a Veterans Day ceremony, we talked about the parade, but prior to the parade at 11 a.m. that day, we'll have our ceremony up in the park, Centennial Memorial Park, and uh, that starts at 11 a.m. Uh, going to do a little bit of changing up this year, but there'll be a lot of music. That's uh, that's going to be the intent this time, to have have lots of music, even before the we start the program. And uh, on the November the 15th, um, we're going to dedicate the Ben Thomason home that was built by the Gary Sinise, uh, that is the 15th, I think. It's uh, 
the tenth. That's why I got I got those mixed up. These, November the tenth. Excuse me, folks, uh, because I knew I had November the tenth here for some reason. And uh, November the tenth at 1 p.m. and that's on uh, uh, that's out in Jacksonville, across from the Jacksonville High School, uh, where you normally park to go to the ball games. Out there, you'll see uh, the ceremony. They're going to give him the keys to the house that was built by the uh, Gary Sinise Foundation. Uh, uh, Diller to tunnels to um, I forgot how they go that, but any, but anyhow, it's an AOD credit union and uh, uh, the Comfort Foundation. All of that is went to building this. It's a house that's accessible to him. If you can imagine uh, his physical condition from from the uh, the uh, IED over in uh, Afghanistan to being able to have some independence to be able to use an iPad to open doors and that kind of thing and and uh, iPhones and things to let him get around that. Uh, I wanna make sure I get my shout outs out. Uh, Willie Hutchins, Willie Hutchins is well known nearly as much as uh, David Ford. And I wanna say hi to Caroline and Elmer Wheatley. Everybody knows them and our, my buddy I saw her yesterday, Betty Carr. Uh, I call her the ambassador to Aniston and I got a friend over in, in Birmingham that uh, he and I go back a long way. He's in law enforcement. It's Cliff Prosser, say hi to Cliff. And I get uh, people watch there in Clanton, down in Clanton. All you folks that's watching down there on ATTUverse, I appreciate you. And uh, those over in Hueytown and Bessemer that watch every week, I appreciate you too. Oxford VA Clinic here on October the 24th is veterans only. The phone number is 256-832-4147. But I got a secret number, 8. Three two four one four seven, and they use eight three two four one four one. Get your flu shot. It's a fair, flu fair that they're having for your shots and flu shots and and anything to do with your blood pressure checks and those kind of things. Uh, they'll order you a shingle shot if you need it. So that's October the twenty fourth, and it starts at eight o'clock in the morning down at the Oxford uh, Clinic, and. Uh, Let's see, you there tell me I'm running out of time. Don't forget the uh, Regional Humane Society out there. The, sh the phone number for, uh, for them is 256-241-3647. You can help out with the little critters. We would appreciate it. And I'm just running out of time. So let me just, this, this salute this week is gonna go out to all those that are helping with the Veterans Day's events from all of the things with the uh, with the Kyle Comfort uh, run to the Veterans Day Parade to the, to the thing up at Centennial Park. We'll see you next week here on Veterans Issues. We've got some special guests from the city of Oxford, so you'll appreciate that. We'll see you next week on Veterans Issues. We're out of here.